Welcome to another Figma tutorial. In this video, we'll be covering the basics of prototyping within Figma. Interactive prototypes allow you to demonstrate how a design will behave. This is useful for design critiques or for helping others visualize how a design might look and feel once the final product is built. In order to assemble a prototype, we'll first need to have our design built. You can create your designs in the Design tab and create your prototypes in the Prototype tab. We can enter prototype mode by clicking from the Design tab to the Prototype tab at the top of the Properties panel. This is where you will construct and edit a prototype of your design. The first step in creating a prototype is determining where to start. In this example, we would like users to tap on the thumbnail image for the Great Smoky Mountains National Park in the first frame. We'll start by selecting that image. With the image selected, we see a blue circular node appear on the right side of the element. This indicates where a prototype connection can begin. By clicking on this node and dragging our mouse, a connection arrow appears. We can drag this connection to any top-level frame on our page except the element's parent frame. When we release the mouse click, Figma will create a connection between our thumbnail element and the destination frame. We can also remove connections by clicking on the connection arrow, dragging it to an empty area on the canvas, and releasing. Let's go ahead and undo that since we want that connection for this example. Once we make our first connection, a small blue box with a white arrow will appear on the top left side of our first connected frame. This indicates the starting position of our prototype. If you want to change the starting frame, simply click and drag the arrow to a new frame. We're going to leave this on the original frame since we would like that to be the starting position. Now that we've created a connection, let's open Presentation View by clicking the play icon in the upper right corner of the toolbar to see it in action. This will open our prototype in a new browser tab. In our prototype, you'll notice that if we click outside of the thumbnail image which we connected earlier, a blue box will flash over the image. This is a visual indicator of a hotspot. When you click on an area that was not linked to another frame, Figma will show you which hotspots are available. Hotspots are useful for when you want multiple elements within a single frame to connect to different top-level frames. Let's click on our thumbnail image hotspot to see how this works. As you can see, this hotspot takes us to our frame with the enlarged image that we linked earlier. However, this frame isn't connected to anything else, so we can't go any further than this. Let's return to prototype mode and continue building our connections. As you can see, we have a small down arrow at the top of our frame. Tapping this should dismiss the enlarged image and return us back to our original starting frame. To do this, we'll select the arrow, click, and then drag a connection back to our starting frame. Don't worry about the label in the connection arrow right now. We will cover this in another video about prototype transitions. Let's return to presentation view to see our change. Without even refreshing the tab, we can see our edits reflected. If we click the arrow to dismiss the photo, we return to our starting frame. You've now learned the basics of prototyping in Figma. In our next video, we'll finish building our prototype connections and demonstrate how you can use prototyping transitions to make your prototype even more immersive. Let's review what we learned today. Enter prototype mode from the tab above the properties panel. Drag connections from an elements node to top level frames. The start arrow in the blue box is where your prototype will begin. Click the play icon to open presentation view in a new tab.